Kaylee wants to do well in her classes, so she is budgeting her time carefully to decide the number of classes C she will take this year. For each class that she takes, she expects to spend, she expects to spend two and a half hours each week working on homework. She expects to spend an additional six and a half hours each week completing the assigned reading for all of her classes together. If Kaylee has 19 hours available each week to complete homework and reading for her classes, which equation best models the situation? All right, so she has a total of 19 hours available. She has 19 hours available. And she needs to, she has 19 hours available each week to complete homework, to complete homework and reading for her classes. So how much time is it going to take her to complete the homework? Well, it says that she expects to spend two and a half hours each week working on homework for, or actually I should say over here, for each class that she takes, she expects to spend two and a half hours each week working on homework. Let me underline that. For each class that she takes, she expects to spend two and a half hours each week working on homework. So it's going to be two and a half, two, two and a half hours each week per class. Now how many classes is she taking? Well, she's going to take C classes. She's going to take C classes. So the total amount that she spends on homework, so the amount that she spends on homework is going to be two and a half times C. I'll put in parentheses just to make it clear what I'm doing here. So it's going to be two and a half times C is the amount she spends on homework. And how much is she going to spend on reading? Well, it says over, says over here, she expects to spend an additional six and a half hours each week each week completing the assigned reading for all of her classes together. So this sentence says it doesn't matter how many classes she takes, she's going to spend six and a half hours reading. So she's, it's, not a, it's not dependent on the number of classes she takes. So this is the amount of time she's just going to spend reading. And so the amount she spends on homework plus the amount she spends on reading need to add up to 19 hours. So which of these choices are what I just wrote over here? So let's see, they have the 19 on the other side, but let's see, they have two and, a, two and one half C minus six and a half. No, that's not this right over here. Two and one half C plus six and a half, yep, that's what we have over here, is equal to 19. Yep, that's this choice. The only difference between this and what I wrote is they just swapped the, the two sides of the equality, which you can always do. These other choices, let's see, six and a half times C. Well, this would imply that you're spending six and a half hours per class, so that's not right. And then this is also six and a half times C, so that's not going to work out either.